what could be more ideal than a crepe in Paris? I jumped on this lime scuba by Uber and it's zipping me around town. It is so beautiful with the sun setting off in the distance. Oh, we timed this just right. Look at the golden colors on the church. <laughs> Paris, Paris, Paris. I'm in Paris, landed last night, I leave again tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, I'm staying at the Charles de Gaulle airport, I got a lot of things to do before I travel again tomorrow, but I want to take the train into the city center of Paris, it's such a beautiful city, look, I'm staying right here at the Charles de Gaulle airport, I want to get that train into the city center of Paris, see that amazing place, and make the most of the day. You can hear the planes take off and land just beyond this hotel. From here to the center of town, it's about one hour by train. I wanna go see the Arc de Triomphe. I wanna walk up the Champs Elysees, but I also need to accomplish some tasks. I still gotta locate that mouse for my computer. I wanna get some new earphones and I need to buy some sunblock. I just landed yesterday from Saudi Arabia and tomorrow is on to Amman. So I got a busy day, let's go. This is Paris. And first stop, you guessed it, a creperie. I got chocolate and banana, a perfect snack so I can have some energy to walk around town. Oh, this is delicious. And what could be more ideal than a crepe in Paris? This is Paris's Notre Dame Cathedral, its most famous church. Unfortunately, on April 15th, 2019, fire broke out. The spire's gone, stained glass windows destroyed, and basically the whole thing was gutted. However, the city of Paris and French President Macron ordered it to be rebuilt, and look at it now. Huge progress is being made, and this thing should be recompleted by 2024, which is just amazing for the Notre Dame Cathedral. Soon it's gonna be back for Paris and all of the world. You gotta love Paris right there. He's got a little bike cart with an espresso machine on it. Trip Bike Cafe, and I got a flat white. Now on to the next destination. Okay, we're running out of time, so I grabbed this electric scooter. The great thing about Paris is it's becoming greener and greener every year. We have all these bike lanes now, and it's beautiful. There's all these share bikes, share scooter options. I jumped on this Lime scooter by Uber, and it's zipping me around town, saving my legs and get me to the sites a lot quicker. Check it out, this is the Place du Concorde. Over there is the famous Louvre Museum, and up that way, we're gonna head up it, the Champs Elysees, and leads up to, you guessed it, the Arc de Triomphe. Let's go. Unfortunately, they're doing a lot of cleaning and work on this famous fountain right here in the middle of Place du Concorde. It's a shame, it's beautiful, blue, gold, water squirting out everywhere. This is the Champs Elysees. The Tour de France finishes up here, races up and down, does several loops each year. Up that way, the Arc de Triomphe, see it? And over this way, a computer store. I gotta get my mouse. My touchpad is still acting funny, and I need to sort out that thing before I head to Oman. This place here, Fanac, see that? It's like a Target in the United States. Excuse me, it's like a Best Buy in the United States. They have all your electronic needs. They should have a mouse for me so I can operate my computer. Okay, got the mouse, got the earphones. I mean, all they make in the small cool models are wireless. I don't want wireless. That Bluetooth's just gonna suck battery power from my computer. But you have to do what you have to do when you're on the road. Logitech, hopefully it doesn't suck too much battery from my computer. There it is. Looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Earphones, I got some JLB. Now I plug those into my video recorder when I'm doing the interviews and also when I'm editing videos. You gotta have those. The other ones I dragged through the dirt in Saudi Arabia. They're disgusting now, to be honest. There we go, look at those. These are what are gonna help me listen to all the interviews from now on out. It's pretty cool. Now let's get, uh, hey, ciao. <laughs> now let's get up to the Champs Elysees. The Champs Elysees is one of the most famous boulevards in the world, certainly in France. It is known for all of its high-end luxury stores as well. Over there you see Dior, Louis Vuitton, and we're making our way up to the Arc de Triomphe. It's a long one, about two kilometers in length, this boulevard. <sighs> Here we go, it's an uphill march to the Arc de Triomphe. And look at all these cafes too, you can stop and get a coffee, hang out, get a drink, maybe a beer as well. I don't have time for that. These days, these off days that I have, 
getting a mouse, getting those new earbuds. Well, that takes up all my time, and then I have to plan to travel tomorrow, the next day. Now, this is one of Paris's best known monuments, the Arc de Triomphe. Finished in 1836, it honors the soldiers who died in the French Revolution and Napoleon's Wars. And there you see also is the tomb of the unknown soldier from World War I. And it's also one of the most famous roundabouts in the world. Twelve roads shoot out like the spokes of a bicycle wheel into the Arc de Triomphe, the most famous roundabout in all of the world. If you've ever driven around this one, it's confusing as heck, but it's worth it. It's a great experience. Look, this is the place to take photos. Those people are out there dangerously in the middle of the road getting the perfect shot of the Arc de Triomphe. These people are crazy out here. I guess I am too. I'm out here vlogging. <laughs> but they're getting the perfect shot. The photos look great. There we go. Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> All right, on to the next place. Check this out. Oh, it's the Eiffel Tower. It is so beautiful with the sun setting off in the distance. This reminds me of the first time I ever came to Europe. It was in 1998 or 1999 and I came here to Paris and I went up the Eiffel Tower. I was with my cousin Chris, who you saw in those California Santa Barbara videos just a couple of months ago, and we were here. But okay, let's get going and try to get some nice photos up on the hill. Over that way, I think it should be hitting right with the sunshine and a beautiful place to capture those memories of Paris. Just met some friends, Taib and Ahmed. They're from Afghanistan. They helped me out with my thumbnail photo. Thank you guys, I much appreciate it. You got a cool photo? Thanks guys. I think they said like and subscribe. <laughs> Perfect man, thanks. thanks. Okay, normally I'd walk up here, but the sun is going down quickly and check it out, all these sunset levers up here. I took an Uber, merci. And what you need to know is that there's a massive sunset happening over here, so this is the place to be. Look at all these people taking in the sunset. Everyone's happy here. Let's check it out. Ha ha, look at that. And if you're thinking about coming up here, plan ahead. Take a bottle of wine and enjoy the sunset. Look at these sunset lovers right here. They brought a bottle of wine. They're happy. They're taking it in, having a drink. <laughs> this reminds me of what we have in Florence. It's Piazzale Michelangelo because you go up there, everybody's having a good time, bottles of wine. <laughs> and you see why. Now, once you're up at Sac Corre, you might be tempted to just walk right down the streets into the Montmartre area, but the best way. Yeah, these guys know. The best way is to walk down the street over there and you get this old look at Paris, how Paris used to be back in the day. In fact, they don't even call it Paris, they call it Montmartre. Oh, we timed this just right. Look at the golden colors on the church. <laughs> Paris, Paris, Paris. <laughs> the hotel back to where it all began it was a long day but I definitely think it was worth it I got my work done early in the morning and then I went down to Paris saw as much as I could in the short amount of time I had tomorrow morning I gotta wake up early I'm flying to Oman getting in a nice beer I've been in Saudi Arabia for 10 days it's been a long time since I've had a beer I made the most of it in Paris today before I gotta wake up and fly again have you ever squeezed any short trips like this day trips to go see something drop some comments down below let me know but I tell you, I'm happy I did it, saw Paris. Anytime you get the chance to see a city like that, it's definitely worth your time to get out there and explore. Mm -hmm.